Now, I tell you this, I be mental sometimes, but that don't mean I'm gonna fucking drink and then make people uncomfortable. the shoe right here it was not like that when I climbed up here Hey, what's up, everybody? How's it going? You know who it is? It's your dude. It's Eric. You know, I just got off the bus, a long road trip ride, and here I am back to Arizona. So yeah, I came back as I promised. Ready to do the same old thing. Well, almost, because I'm gonna explore a little bit more before I do the art show, which is gonna be art vlog number seven soon. So yeah, Arizona, I am back. And I can't wait to do some more. While it's crazy, I'm gonna be out around here, walking around, dragging my wagon my vacation I'm gonna have a good time so without further ado it's morning and I'm gonna get this day started man the sun is up some nice little weather here in Arizona. Man. Still, still though, the day's getting started. And it smells like burger, I mean, hamburgers and other grilled stuff in here. Hopefully I could try that soon before I leave. Um, okay, so in case if you notice, when I recorded the other clip of me on the bus, when there's two police officers by the bus because there's drama right there like this one man just wanted to get out of the bus looking for a hospital something like that and, you know and they're all yelling and stuff you know the bus driver didn't know where the hospital it is because the man keep asking where's the hospital you know because the because the, the bus driver don't know all this stuff so they were yelling and yelling and the bus driver was not calm the customer that was on the bus not calm you know it was it was just this one big drama fight but it's not the only drama fight that happened before that happened when i was getting on the bus after i put all my stuff in there 
found my seat. This one man was trying to find his seat. I was uh, sitting on the right lane of the bus uh, on the right side. There's like at least 11 or 12 uh, areas, you know, like aisles, you know, like uh, the aisles of the store. But it's like from front to back of the bus. On the right side, there's 12 aisles. On the left side, there's 10 aisles of where you can sit down. Now this man was, I mean, this man was asking the bus driver where his seat's supposed to be. That, uh, that this man's seat was on the right side on aisle 11 on the seat, but somebody took his place and he wanted them to move, but they don't want to move. And then he, and then he's saying, and then the bus driver saying that there's no, uh, that there's aisle 11. He said that, that aisle 10 is where you're supposed to sit at. I'm like, what? That's not where you're supposed to sit at. So they were all, all fighting and stuff, all that drama because a bus driver is pretending like he don't count. So the man was upset. I just gave him a seat. I just gave him some room to, to sit down next to me. Because you know what? Somebody took a seat. You know what? I'm just gonna let, I'm gonna give him a seat so he can sit down and calm down. You know? You know, sharing a seat because that man just wanna relax and sit down and ride the bus. That's it. Like I just, I just didn't want no drama. It's all this big fight drama on the bus. And this was my first time having drama on the Flix bus. It has never happened before. Never, ever happened before. But that's the experience I've gone through. And man, I was so close to, I was so close to panicking because the drama kept going and going and going. The bus driver not being so, not being so professional, like he should be trying to keep, uh, trying to calm down with his feelings. When you're working for the bus, when you're driving the bus, when you're a worker there, you gotta be professionally cool. You gotta be low key and cool. At least figure out another way to give that man a seat. Cause that's what I would do. If um if somebody took your seat, just find another seat. And it's like th it's like that on the plane sometimes. Just give somebody else a seat. Give a, give somebody else a chance to sit down and relax so that everybody could be on the bus ride. That's it. It shouldn't be that hard. I was kind of upset there because, you know, I just didn't want that drama. That drama, man. And I just had another drama yesterday. I had a drama on the bus last night. And I had a drama yesterday morning when I was asleep. Me, uh, I mean, my sister and my mom, they be fighting again, slamming doors while I was asleep, trying to get ready for work. And I came home that night at 3 a.m. And then I hear them at like around 6 or 7 in the morning, slamming doors and fighting and yelling. I'm like, come on, man. And this is why I kind of take my this is why I take myself on vacation. So I could not deal with this drama. But everywhere there's going to be drama no matter where you go. Anyway, I just wanted to put that out. Wanted to get that off my chest. To, it, it, the day just started. It's just me myself and I we're going to we're going to have a good time. Let me calm down and just get something to eat. Let me calm down. All right. Let's move on. Wow.
This mountain is nice. It's a nice view over here. I had a good lunch I was staying here for like more than a few hours and the sun was about to you know the sun was past the middle that means it's over noon it's about to tilt soon I don't know what time it is either two or three but man I was just I swear I was just hanging out I was ready to go to sleep but I don't think I could go to sleep for a while at least uh, I might not be able to sleep anyway. Hang on, let me get out the way. I was trying to sleep, but eh, I don't think I'll be able to sleep until I go check in my place to crash. Right now, I'm just gonna walk around, keep exploring, see what, what else I'm gonna do today. Get that little exercise in after I ate a big meal. Yeah, let's get it. It's a nice park out here. Got to take a little nap, but I got to go check in the place I stay. I come back here. Okay, right now I'm heading to my place that I'm going to crash in, but this is going to be a different one. It's not going to be a hotel. It's going to be something else, and I'll show you on the way there when I get on the bus. Nobody's going to like it. My parents are not going to like it. I'm not going to like it. I might not. I might like it. I don't know. But uh, it was very cheap. And if I didn't get it very cheap, then I wouldn't be here right now. I wouldn't be able to eat. All right, here's my bus. Let's go. This is, this is the place I'm going to stay at. At a shed. All right, let's get in. See you in the morning. Yep. That is where I'm staying. Yeah. Staying in a shed, a hostel. And of course, I already have company. So you know. Uh, three bunk beds and I think like four to five dudes so we're all in that in that shed together but yeah it's one, that's where I'm gonna be staying for a while because the hotels they were freaking expensive and I only had three dollars I mean no 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 not three dollars 
I only had $300 from my paycheck. And if I got in a hotel for four, or like for four nights or five days, then that would have been like 300 or 200 but then i wouldn't be able to have something to eat i wouldn't be able to you know survive so that's uh, so that's the hostel that i've gotten the one in the shed and it costed 15 dollars a night so it's like $60 but plus taxes. It's an Airbnb. My first Airbnb, I mean, hold up. My first Airbnb experience. Living in the shed for for um, four nights. So yeah. It's a nice little uh sun out here. It's a nice little weather. You know, you know, good morning, Arizona. Good morning. All right. We're going to explore some more today. I didn't do as much yesterday because I was tired. I was on the bus like throughout the night. I barely got any rest. So, you know, we're going to continue. All right. Let's begin. From that street to this street. What I'm gonna do today is check out those mountains. Hopefully I don't have to pay anything to get through. But uh, we'll see how it is as I get there. Wow, what a nice little river we have here. And the cart inside the water. I like that. Thank <laughs> you. 
giant rock here man see that this thing is big Yes, made that work. Okay, where's the other rock? I know I had it. Okay, found another one. I like the little colors, pretty little colors. See if I can make this one float a little bit. I think I did a little bit. We got a nice, cool neighborhood. Peace and quiet. I like that. And I had a peace and quiet neighborhood in San Antonio, Texas. All right, let's keep it going. I believe I am here. It's probably my first time hiking, so let's do this.
I probably, I probably should have gotten hiking shoes, but whatever. I'll get new shoes soon. I'm sweating already. Just about to be up here, up in the mountains myself. Look at the city view here. I believe having to climb up here gets tricky sometimes. Hello. Hello, how's it going? Beautiful? Huh? Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yes, it is. Yes, it is. city right there in a small little town like I said before Arizona I believe it's a small town and it can be a big town sometimes especially if you're going downtown I like it This is the farthest. This is how far I've come. Take a look at cactus. And more. We'll take a little break here. With 
Oh boy. I believe I feel like I'm in the middle of a mountain. If I go on top, I got more long ways to go. Oh man, let's take some pictures. This is tricky. <sighs> you too, man. soon soon enough once I get up I might come down but it'll take a long time and this is my first hike with all these messed up shoes yet here I am And that gets to the top, you have to climb the hardest rocks or the highest ladder. I say that all the time. I think I understand why now. Real soon. Real soon. I'm coming. Oh shit.
It's beautiful, but man, it's so hard to get up. Sometimes you just gotta go hard and keep going up. I'm not motivating you. I'm not motivating myself. I just wanna get on top, that's it. It's not the most top, it's not the top is of the mountain, but it's the best I could do.
first time hiking. This is my first time. Look at this shoe. Look at this shoe right here. It was not like that when I climbed up here, but now it is. So I guess this. I guess I kind of learned a lesson. Get hiking shoes when you go out here. I'll always have new shoes, whatever. As long as you're able to climb rocks and as long as your shoes are not ripped in, I think you'll be all right. But I think I'm done here. This is my first time hiking. And uh, I woke up, I woke up about like around seven or eight in the morning. And this was the first thing to do, like to explore. And I just started hiking, you know, it's 12 o'clock here. And I just started hike. I just started hiking first thing in the morning, three hours to climb up this mountain. Wait, no, 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 hold up. Wait, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I walked from my hostel to here. I walked all the way here, and I've hiked all the way here. Now it's going to be difficult coming down, but you know what? It's what I got to do, and I'm hungry, so I should get down right now. Mark, that's true. That's true. Yeah, I'm gonna work on that too. All right, you too. Good luck up there. Oh shit. Whoa. Just take your time. Take your time. I can get like hiking boots or something for ten dollars. That'd be great right now. We're almost there. Took me a long time to get off of there, to get down here. But I'm almost there. Messed up shoes, but I'm gonna get there. After that, I'm gonna get some of these and probably get new shoes and relax. And what do you know? I made it from on top. took me three hours to get up and it took me like three hours again to get down survive but man what a day that was for me to go through that it was awesome and amazing but it was insane It was really insane today. All right, let's go eat.
Okay, so I already ate some, I already um had something to eat at Cafe Rio. Uh and after I left I was going to the bus stop. I mean I'm already here now, but like earlier when I was at the bus stop, this dude in an orange vest wearing a blue helmet just made me uncomfortable. And he was drinking beer. Made me uncomfortable as hell. Trying to get all in, my, uh, trying to get almost all in my face. You know, the first thing I wasn't supposed to do—that was a mistake. My mistake I did was giving him a fist bump because I thought he was just a regular dude. But this turns out he's a crazy dude, talking all that stuff, all that mental crazy ass stuff, drinking beer in his hand. And this is why I don't do drugs. This is why I don't drink. Cause you'll say you'll end up saying some stuff out of nowhere. You'll end up mentally crazy as hell. Now I tell you this, I be mental sometimes, but that don't mean I'm gonna fucking drink and then make people uncomfortable. Cause that's what the fuck that motherfucker did. That's what he did. Asking me questions. Are you homeless? I work for the streets, cuz. Where you going, cuz? Why are you trying to avoid me, cuz? I'm talking to you, man. And then he'd be screaming, too. He'd be screaming out of nowhere, screaming like a fucking psychopath. Probably that motherfucker, too. I don't even know who he was. That's just crazy. But I'm glad he's not here no more. And I'm here to wait for the bus. I'm just going to relax and chill and go home.